Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in part eight of our eight-part series, Basic Training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We have completed our movie. We got our music in, we got our narration in, we've got our titles in, we've even laid down some DVD menu markers or scene markers on our track so we're good to go. It is time to output our movie and share it at last and there are a number of options and a number of ways to get to those options. The simplest way to output your movie from Vegas Movie Studio Platinum is simply to go up here to the Make Movie button at the top of the program. And you can see there are some cool options here. The program comes equipped with little tools that will upload it directly to Vimeo, to YouTube, to Facebook. If you select the option to burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc, the program will either burn it directly from Vegas Movie Studio Platinum and give you something with no menus at all, or if you select DVD with menus and you have DVD Architect installed on your computer, the program will create files and port them directly over to DVD Architect and set up your DVD Architect project so you can create some very nice looking DVDs and Blu-ray discs. You have the option of saving it back to your camera or a portable device, something you don't see people do very often, but in the old days of uh, tape-based video, that was one way to archive your projects, or to save it to your hard drive, which is the most versatile of all the options. Now, once again, as with many things in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, there is an easy way and there's kind of a deeper way. The easy way is right here. If you just need something for playback in QuickTime or creating DVD ready streams, this will guide you through selecting basic options. But I would recommend you get to know the advanced options. They're well worth getting to know and they're not that complicated. You can get to them by going through these many menus and clicking on advanced options. That will get you to this screen right here. But this screen is also available to get to directly by going to the project menu and selecting render as. Same screen, this is the output menu option workspace here. Many, many options here for outputting audio only from your video. That's what a number of these are, for instance, the AAC and the AIFF and Dolby Digital, but also a number of options for outputting your video. If you're outputting video that's gonna be used on the internet, there are options, for instance, uh, Windows Media and Real Media. But more often, people now are using the MP4 output, which is available under right here under the Magix AVC. You can also find it under Sony AVC, some options here for creating internet kind of optimized files. A nice new feature here in version 15 is that there's also the Intel HEVC. These are H265. It's a more advanced compression system for your MP4. These are great for creating uh, files. You can see all the way up into 4K files for sharing online. Uh, they're nicely compressed and great looking videos. So this is H265 for those of you who know what that means. Uh, under these AVC options, you'll also see options for sharing your video in a Blu-ray optimized video stream or under the Sony AVC options, you'll see options also for saving a program stream, which has both the video and audio. I don't want to go too deep into that. I cover that in the book. Many people prefer to output their audio and their video streams separately when creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Other people just like the simplicity of outputting a program file rather than a separate file. But options for just about anything you want to do here, including the ability to output XD cam. So some pretty cool stuff available and um, each of these are customizable too. Anyway, that takes us from beginning to end, and I hope you've enjoyed this journey, getting to know the basics of Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 15. It's a great little program, and Magix continues to build it out with some great new features. If you want to know lots more about the program, be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. And if you want to know everything about the program, including lots of tips for taking advantage of some of the best features in it, be sure to check out the book moviepix.com guide for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as the moviepix.com guide to DVD Architect. They're both available at amazon.com and at the Movie Pick store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thank you for joining me. I hope I haven't seen the last of you. Take care.